Clicking Test Cable triggers one measurement on the cable, displays the result, and stops. If the cable compares perfectly to a model cable, as it does here, we can be fairly confident that this cable will work properly in its intended application. However, bad crimps, cold solder joints, or broken wires may cause intermittent connections that allow the cable to work properly in one position, but fail when moved to a different position or when it's compressed in an equipment cabinet. Use Cableize Continuous Test function to look for intermittent connections. First, check the Continuous Test box under the Test Cable button, and notice that this button changes to Start. Click Start or press the Test Push button on Cableye to begin cycling. This function constantly reruns the test scan, sending signals through the cable continuously. Once started, you can see the pass indicator, the number of test cycles completed, and the number of errors. Note also that the wiring screen shows that no errors have been found so far. Now I'll flex the cable during this test to try to induce a problem. If an intermittent connection disrupts continuity, a tone sounds and the intermittent wire appears highlighted in the display. In this case, we see an intermittent open circuit indicated by the highlighted yellow wire on pin 3. Intermittent short circuits would appear with red highlights. The tone sounds every time the test data differs from the match data. When an intermittent connection is restored to normal, the tone stops. Note that the wiring display retains a memory of the error, accumulates different errors that may occur later, and may be studied or printed when we stop the test. You see that the Start button changes to Stop once the test begins. You may either click Stop or press the Test button to end the scanning. We've been showing intermittent connections as a graphic wiring display. We may also show the differences as a netlist, if desired. This time, I'll introduce a short circuit, stop the test, and print the result. For a 128 test point system, continuous test cycles from 10 to 25 times per second, depending on your computer and present dwell time setting. During one cycle, every test point is measured with respect to every other point, thus checking every wire in the cable for an intermittent connection, as well as for potential shorts to any unused pins that you may have on the connector. If you suspect a particular conductor of having an intermittent connection, you may highlight that conductor in the schematic and continually measure the resistance of just that conductor as you flex the cable. In this case, I'll select pin 3 and then measure the resistance of this wire once by clicking the resistance tool. We see the actual resistance of this conductor. Now I'll click the continuous resistance tool and start to flex the cable to see if the resistance varies. We notice that it varies widely and moves well above the 2 ohm threshold for a good conductor. Clearly, we've detected a bad connection. Because Cableye scans only one conductor in this case, the cycle time is much faster than for a full scan. You may also use the Continuous Resistance tool to check resistors as they are exposed to changes in heat, or potentiometers as you adjust the shaft.